this uh, video we're going to be looking at how I clip counters and cards. I thought I'd start by showing you the various bits and pieces that I uh, use. So I'm using this black board just so you can see the the contrast between the counters and the and the table. This little glass, uh, this little bath, really handy when I've done the counters. I put them in the bath. So what I've done and what needs doing still is quite handy. Little tiny screwdriver, always useful. And I have these tweezers, I'm not very good with the tweezers, and they are actually Rolson number no. seven tweezers. I think I got them off eBay or Amazon, I can't just remember. I actually bought two sets, so if I ever lose a set, so that's them. Obviously a pair of scissors are handy. I have a card cutter, this is called a Cardo Maru Pro and it cuts cards, small, medium and large, three different sizes, real handy little tool if you're creating your own cards, we'll come back to that later. I have a magnifying glass which my eyes are not the best so I will often use that to have a look. Piece de resistance is the counter cutter or trimmer and I bought this from America it cost about $70 and this is what the box looks like that it came in and it does in three different sizes my one is a two and a half mil trimmer or corner trimmer really cool piece of kit superb and of course we need counters so I'm going to get rid of all this stuff off here and the counters that I am going to be using are from the white box. Again, Design Workshop in a Box includes the book by Jeremy Holcomb called The White Box Essays. And inside the white box, there are lots of resources which you can use for designing your own game. Uh, for example, there are meeples and dice and some counters which need to be clipped. Well, I think so anyway. So here's one uh, done earlier, and another one, and so on. Now, if you look carefully on the edges, I don't know if it's going to zoom in or not accurately, I'll try and hold it still. You can see these little bits of card sticking out, and that usually happens when you push the tokens out of the cardboard inserts. I think it's called flashing. If it's not called flashing, whatever it's called, you know exactly what I mean. And I don't like that, it makes the counters look untidy. So what I'm going to do first of all, is to trim off the flashing. I've got about a dozen, there's another one that's already been done. So I'll trim off some of these and show you how I do it. Prior to actually using the edge cutter. So I'll just do a few of these. So what I do, I get my scissors, they're nice and sharp and I need to trim off the flashing. Now the key thing with this is that you need to do it from both sides of the counter just to get perfect. I'm a bit OCD and then it goes in my little bath there. So like I said I'm OCD, I want it to be right, nice and smooth. So think about it, you spend a lot of money on these games so you might as well uh, make them look the best. It might even add some resale value if you ever decided to sell your games and you could actually say they're all being nicely clipped and so on. So I'll do these half a dozen or so. You can see little bits of shavings coming off. I don't mind that. Nobody cares. You'll never notice it. Nice sharp scissors. You can get them from the pound shop for, well, for a pound. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave those. So now that I've trimmed off the flashing, I'll just move that to one side. Take that on there. This is great. It only cost me 50p from a church, sort of church jumble sale type thing. 50p, it's great. So now that I've trimmed off the flashing, simply get a a token 
slide it into the corner and push the handle and clip. Rotate, clip, rotate, clip, rotate and clip and in the bath. I'll do these five, you'll see how quick it is. Rotate, keep, keep going along. In the bath. Very simple. Obviously, if you've got the right tools, everything's simple. So I, I highly recommend this particular uh, clipper. I know it's expensive, but I've found, I've tried a few different ones in the past and they just didn't do it. They weren't up to the task. So, once you've had a bit of practice, you can do these really quite quickly. So there you go, in the bath. One bit of a nuisance, all these little corner bits become annoying. So we just have to make sure we're somewhere near to a bin. And let's have a look at these counters now. So you can see they are beautifully rounded, the edges are nice. And what you do is basically you start off, say, with that, with the flashing, and you end up with that. So that's how to clip counters. Real easy. Okay, so welcome to the second part of this short video where we're going to be looking at how I finish off cards that I create. And I do a lot of print and play games, promos, some promos for games are almost impossible to get a hold of and so uh, Board Game Geek will often put really good images on which I essentially copy and print onto cards and then I would trim them off. So what I would do, is imagine this is my card all nicely printed, you can see we have small, medium and large you need to make sure you obviously you match up the radius of the card that you're creating with the radius of the card in the base game. That's sort of obvious. But assuming it's a small radius, I'd simply push the card in, into the slot, press the handle. Again, we rotate. So simple. Each card, what, 10 seconds. Beautiful, small radius. I can't actually remember what the radius is, it might actually say it on the thing, um, but I can't remember. But if you go to Amazon and look for this particular model, I'm sure it will tell you. Um, but it is whatever it is. And then here we do with medium, so again we'll put it into the slot, press the handle. You don't need to go daft and press it hard, just a simple press. And there's the medium, you can see it's bigger diameter and then finally we'll go to large never use the large for a real game it does look to be very large so there we go that's the large and then what I would normally do having created my cards I would sleeve them and you would hardly be able to tell that they weren't the original ones. So, really nice little tool. It's the Karo Maru Pro card clipper. Can't remember the price, maybe £15 on Amazon. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Nice little touches to make your games just that little bit better. Hopefully uh, you'll come back and watch some more videos on the Lanky Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, until then though, I'll see you.